People and ecosystems are increasingly under pressure by the effects of global warming. We all depend on functioning ecosystems and the services they provide. For example, fertile soils, clean water, food, extreme event buffering and climate regulation are essential to survive. There is widespread acceptance that healthy ecosystems play an essential role in increasing the resilience of communities to changing weather patterns. They help people to mitigate climate change and adapt to its effects. Ecosystem-based adaptation to climate change, or EBA for short, is a nature-based, anthropocentric approach to tackling the impacts of climate change. It comprises measures to conserve, restore and sustainably manage ecosystems and natural resources by using green infrastructure. This complements or even substitutes other adaptation methods such as GRAY, that is, engineering-based infrastructure measures. Well, I think uh, ecosystem-based adaptation or ABAP is a natural way of solving some problems that are connected with the impacts of climate change. So, for the people's benefit, it would be good also to use the ecosystem as a as a means of adapting to the possible future impacts of climate change. EBA is climate change adaptation powered by nature. Ecosystem-based adaptation has become an increasingly important topic in international and national policies. The Paris Agreement within the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change was a milestone for the international community in terms of tackling the challenges of climate change. The same is true of the Convention on Biological Diversity. When it comes to implementing these conventions, EBA is a key element in most member countries' adaptation policies. 24 of the 166 countries that have identified adaptation goals refer explicitly to ecosystem-based adaptation, while 109 mention the importance of using ecosystems as part of a general adaptation strategy. EBA is often enshrined in national adaptation planning processes, but on the ground it is still a neglected form of adaptation compared to grey infrastructure measures. The process of EBA mainstreaming is being supported through the International Climate Initiative, which was initiated by the German Federal Ministry for Environment, Nature Conservation, Building and Nuclear Safety. It involves decision makers at international and national local level. The global project on mainstreaming EBA implemented by the Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit, GIZ, is funded by the International Climate Initiative. GIZ supports countries worldwide working on EBA. Bueno, in México, we have various instruments of political pública eh, a nivel nacional. Y es eh, por esto y por nuestro contexto de un país altamente vulnerable y, y biodiverso que integramos el enfoque de adaptación basada en ecosistemas en nuestra contribución determinada a nivel nacional en el marco del Acuerdo de París. Take for example the results from the pilot project on Mountain EBA in Peru, funded by the aforementioned Federal Ministry and Climate Initiative. At an altitude of around 4,350 metres, the consequences of climate change are already evident in Peru. Melting glaciers, reduced snow and rainfall, dried out mineral springs and lower river levels than before. In order to secure the water supply and conserve pasture land for livestock breeding, the communities had to get involved in managing the native grasslands. In the case of Peru, Eh, considerando que es un país altamente vulnerable, eh, todos los enfoques son necesarios para reducir la vulnerabilidad de las poblaciones, ecosistemas y también los medios de vida que tenemos en las diferentes regiones. La adaptación basada en ecosistemas es un, un enfoque más de adaptación. Coastal and marine ecosystems are highly vulnerable to climate change. Countries such as Vietnam, the Philippines, Mexico and Colombia are increasingly affected by storms, sea level rises and floods. 
EBA measures, including reforested mangroves and rehabilitated coral reefs, provide effective protection against these climate change impacts. The solutions also generate many additional benefits, such as carbon sequestration and habitats for various fish species. Además de la restauración de arrecifes de coral en la reserva de la biosfera de Ciancán, también hemos trabajado con la restauración de, de manglar. Eh, eso te ayuda a que se reduzca la sedimentación en, en, los, en los arrecifes y por ende fortaleces más el sistema. In the Philippines, a ridge to reef approach is being implemented, where river basins and coastal areas are managed as a closely interlinked system. A crucial element involved combining technical measures such as the planting of natural tree species and agroforestry systems with community education and organizational development measures. We started with scoping or collecting evidences from the ground and it was quite interesting because people were not aware that they were doing already uh, EBA, but actually these are uh, ecosystem-based solutions. Forests, rivers, wetlands, deserts, agriculture and urban ecosystems are also at risk from climate change. Their vulnerability can be reduced by using EBA solutions. Having a limited resources for a, I can say, less developed country, ecosystem-based adaptation is one of the cost-effective options for adaptation for the people. So it means that we can have reach the same output and using less cost and have more money we can put into other investments. EBA summarizes many aspects in environmental policy that can manage to reduce risk and increase the sustainability of investments in Peru. I, I believe it's a great way to find innovative solutions to common and well-known problems. We are trying to mainstreaming in different sectors, not only on the environmental sector, but on the agricultural sector, sanitation, energy. Many solutions do already exist and many successful measures are being applied. So how can we learn from them and from each other? An international community of practice on ecosystem-based adaptation fosters the sharing of field-tested knowledge and practical experience on ecosystem-based adaptation in different regions and ecosystems around the globe. Through workshops, webinars, training courses and online platforms such as adaptationcommunity.net and Panorama – Solutions for a Healthy Planet. The community offers useful knowledge exchange formats and helps its members to strengthen EBA within policymaking, planning and implementation. The EBA community of practice is supported by the global project Mainstreaming EBA, which is funded by the International Climate Initiative and implemented by GIZ. The project cooperates with other international networks, organizations and research institutes. The exchange is extremely important because it um, uh, makes our leverage uh, much bigger. It means we do not have to reinvent the wheel. We enable uh, the members of the community to benefit from each other's experience and to get in contact and to avoid to repeat things or uh, even mistakes that have been made. Regular workshops bring community members and experts together to discuss their knowledge and experiences. They can seek advice on strategies, methods and specific cases of ecosystem-based adaptation measures. This enables them to upscale initiatives and set policy in their home countries. This knowledge exchange was really, really useful. It came at a very, very right time. This was a very good platform to learn about the toolkits which other countries are using, to really um, know how to monitor and evaluate EBA projects. This was also a very good platform to build connections. Research is key when it comes to tackling global climate change challenges and forging partnerships between governments and international organizations. Adaptation is cross-sectoral and it involves a lot of different people and organizations working together. Um, 
when you look at the components, the pieces that go together to improve adaptation um, or to reduce vulnerability, it's something that you can't achieve by yourself. Uh, you need people working together and you need people coming from different sectors and making use of different tools or different types of infrastructure, like green infrastructure, like ecosystems. Let's work together to find solutions for ecosystem-based adaptation. Why not join the community of practice right away?